hi everyone welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to be doing a video on how to clean drumsticks and chicken thighs now this is how i clean my chicken so i just want to share this with you guys so we're going to first start out with your chicken you're going to need your lemon juice vinegar and you're going to need i have two knives one of the knives the bigger one is a very sharp knife and then the other one is a knife so i can clean the chicken to devein it so as you can see i have my chicken here and i'm going to begin to cut the leg quarters into two pieces and as you can see i am filling where to cut at right at the bone and the gristle so that way i won't cut the bone where I'm not supposed to, then you have bone chippings throughout your chicken. So as you can see, this is the drumstick that I have first. I am starting to trim the fat off of these drumsticks. Um, I like to get all the fat off and go under the skin and get that excess fat. Now here on the bottom where the chicken feet, this is like the ankle part that connects to the foot. You can't see that skin that i'm pulling sometimes it's yellow sometimes it's white but as you can see i am still able to get some of it off and i like to get this off of my chicken i do not like to leave this on the chicken whatsoever and as you can see i'm taking more off which at the beginning you couldn't even see it and i'm going to show you that in another piece of chicken on another drumstick so here i have my chicken thighs and I like to look at side to side of the chicken to see where to start to pull the skin back at because I like to pull my skin back to clean underneath the skin and also to get all of the excess fat off of the chicken thighs. There is one thing that I do not like is to eat a dark piece of chicken, which is the chicken thigh or the drumstick and you bite into a piece of fat. Some people say you need some of the fat to keep your food juicy and seasoned. In some cases, that is correct, but with chicken, that is not. That works more so with beef and pork. So as you can see, I am pulling all this excess fat off, and then I'm getting that excess that's off of the back of the chicken thigh. So I like to go and chip off that. That's like the butt part, that's little corner. And as you can see, I have my skin pulled back and I am pulling off excess layers from underneath the skin. And this is how I like to clean my chicken. So it does take a while to clean it, but it is very well worth it. And I like to clean my chicken very well. So as you can see, I'm steady trimming off the fat. Now I'm going to go to the back of the chicken in just a moment after I get this fat off. And you'll be able to see the back where the bone is. And it looks like it's not like kidney or liver. I'm not sure what that is that's on the back of the chicken right here where my thumb is. And as you can see, I'm going to get all of that out. I like to get all of that out of the chicken so i'm gonna go ahead and let you watch me clean this chicken and then i'll chime in and continue to explain things that i need to explain all right so as you can see right there on the corner it's a fat pocket i'm not digging it out i'm not chopping up the chicken I'm just like scraping apart and it's gonna come right out as you can see. And then that piece of vein that is in the middle of the chicken thigh, when you break it and it has that long black vein, there is an area that you can take off the side of the chicken thigh. It just looks like fat and I'm gonna show you right here. If you grab that, with your thumb and the knife you can grip it and watch as i pull it out that's that vein that's always in the middle of the chicken thigh that turns black as it cooks so i go down into the middle of that chicken and make sure there's no excess veins or anything in there 
And as you can see, I still have a whole piece of chicken. And I like to clean my skin. I like to check for hairs. I like to make sure there's no, um, what do you call it, hair follicles or they're like pockets, the little white things that be sticking up from the chicken. I like to pop all of that out. And I've been ch cleaning my chicken like this for a very long time. And a lot of times I would have people say that they don't eat short thighs. They don't eat chicken thighs because of the veins and the fat. And I tell them I remove all of that. And I let them know that. And then once I fry the chicken and I let them taste it or eat it, they do enjoy it. And most of the time they'll ask for another piece. So you'll see a little bit of stuff left on that skin, but that'll cook off. So as you can see, I'm checking my skin all the way down to the end. If it's too discolored, I'll cut it off. But this one looks pretty good. So guys, that's how I clean my leg quarters, my drumsticks, and my chicken thighs. And as you can see right here, all of this that's here came off of this one piece of leg quarter. It's amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and show you one more piece of chicken, how I clean it. And this piece is a little bit bigger and it has more of the fat and the veins on it. So I wanted to clean one more piece for you just to show you how I clean the chicken. And then I'll go ahead and clean the rest off camera. So I like to go under the skin. And here's where I was talking about with the little skin on the ankle part that connects to the foot. You can't see anything, but if you take your knife and you kind of flick across it, you will get... A area where you can get that knife under there and then you can peel it or you can pull it up all right guys so as you can see I'm steady scraping and pulling some of these chicken leg quarters I have more to clean than others so I just make sure when I do leg quarters um, when I cook them that I have time to clean them because if I don't have time to clean them I don't cook them because I can't skim past this or I can't shortcut it or half clean All right. so as you can see here this piece is a little it's a little different than the other so I have to pull off at a certain part pull the skin back and this skin is a little more challenging than the last piece. So all of that is from underneath the skin. And once you clean your chicken like this and then you soak it and it just makes your chicken look better and also taste better. Because you're eating, if you're a skin person, once you clean your chicken like this, you're eating nothing but skin and meat. So that's that area I was telling you, you don't have to cut it open with the tip of the knife. If you just glide across it, you'll be able to grip that fat pocket that's there. And then also on the side is where I told you, you can grip that vein that's in the middle. So this is just the back of the bone. I just like to clean it out because once you coat it with your batter, it's going to all fry. Okay, so we have one more side. And remember I told you it looks like it's just fat, but if you grip that, that would be that vein that comes out the middle. And I believe this piece of chicken had a larger vein than the last one. So I'm just going to pinch and grip. 
and pull and look at that. So that was out of that chicken. So you do not have that black vein. You don't have those fat pockets. You're going to have a nice, clean, crispy fried piece of chicken. Or if you choose to bake it. So as you can see, I'm checking my skin on this one. This skin, as you can see, is discolored. So there is a couple of pieces I'll cut off. But for the most part, I do keep the skin. My family loves the skin, especially on chicken thighs, um, because of how the skin sits up and it fries very, very good. All right, so as you see me, I am checking all the areas. You see those pieces there? Those are the hair pockets that I was talking about, The and you pop those out, and they come right out. And then sometimes you'll find little black areas. I call those the blackheads of the chicken because they have skin and hair just like anim other animals do or how humans do. So I just go through and I look, and if I see it's a pimple like that one there, you can't see it, but you'll see it come out. You see that pop right out, and that's what I like to do. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and continue the wash this. I'm sorry to clean this chicken off camera. And once I come back, guys, we'll go ahead and get this chicken into a bowl of water and we'll let it soak i'm just examining the chicken and seeing if there's a couple of more areas that need to be plucked or need to be cleaned Okay, guys, so here we have our chicken that's already been cleaned. I'm going to add some lemon juice. And then I am going to add some vinegar. I did not have regular vinegar. I had rice vinegar, which works just as well. You don't want to put too much, just enough to add to the chicken so as you can see a lot of the film is coming to the top of the bowl so i'm gonna let this soak for maybe about five to ten minutes and then i'm gonna go ahead and get my chicken cleaned so i did let it soak so now i am cleaning the chicken and as you can see the water and the gook and the debris that comes off of the chicken as it soaks so that's why i like to pour the water off and refill it because i don't want to wash it and put the chicken back in there and it's back in dirty water so as you can see i am rinsing the chicken and i'm putting it in another clean bowl So I am rinsing my chicken for the second time, just making sure it's clean. And you can see a big difference in this chicken just by looking at it here from when I started and then once it's soaked in the vinegar and lemon juice. And I tell you guys, there's nothing like some clean meat. Because you just want to make sure that you clean your meat, whether it's steak 
whatever it is that you can rinse because you never know where your meat products end up. They could be, you know, they go through transport, they go through the butchers, they go through all different areas. So you just want to make sure you keep your family and your friends safe or whoever you're cooking with. I'm sorry, and cooking for also because raw meats and poultry, they hold a lot of bacteria. All right, guys, so I am done rinsing my meat. And as you can see here, I have my meat all cleaned. And look at that. Oh, it just looks so pretty and so clean. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and pet dry my chicken. And then once I get ready to cook this chicken, I am going to get it seasoned. But I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helps someone in cleaning their chicken. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video.